task analysis and task chaining. Task analysis creates the task chain for you to teach. When you're doing a task analysis, you're breaking a complex skill into small teachable steps. So you can task chain almost anything if you break it down. Now, when you're breaking it down, it's important to consider their skill level, their age, what they're capable of doing, what they already know when you're making that task chain. You also want to do the task chain yourself to make sure you didn't forget anything. So there's three main types you need to know. There's forward chaining, backward chaining, and total task chaining. Forward chaining, you're teaching the first step first and then prompting through the rest. And then once they master the first step, it's the first and second step, prompt through the rest, so on and so forth. Backward chaining, you're teaching the last step first and then prompting to that last step. And then you're just going backwards from there. Backward chaining is good to use when a kiddo has a hard time waiting or you want that reinforcement to be delivered immediately because that escape from the task often functions as a huge reinforcer for completing that task. And then total task chaining, you're teaching all the steps in the task. So this is used maybe for a uh, really high functioning kid or a kid who knows most of the steps and there's just one or two they might be missing. Uh, the fourth is the behavior chain interruption strategy where you'll have your chain and then you'll intentionally interrupt it in the middle. You try to draw out uh, novel behaviors. So for example, if they're making a sandwich, you might not put the knife on the counter, forcing them to mand or ask for that knife.